Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video, we are gonna see how Windows 365 works on the Surface Duo. If you don't know what Windows 365 is, it's basically Microsoft's new Windows as a Service platform, which allows you to access your Windows PC from basically any device, whether it's a Windows PC, a Mac, an Android, an iPad, an iPhone, and today we're gonna to see how it runs on the Surface Duo. If you haven't actually seen Windows 365 before, I'll put a link in the description down below so if you to check out how we can launch it and use it for the first time. So behind me we've got my regular uh, setup with my Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse, and my USB-C monitor. The keyboard and mouse are already paired up to the Duo, and using USB-C, we're just gonna plug in the Duo and see how it works. The only other setup we've done on this device here is download the remote desktop client from Microsoft, which is basically just an app that allows you to connect into your virtual Windows desktop. Of course, if you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this. Okay, now that we're at the desk, we're just gonna use the Surface Joy here, USB-C, plug it in. I love the fact that it's just a single cable that's gonna allow my Android device, my Joy, to replicate its screen onto another monitor or a TV screen. Really easy, really simple. And as you can see there, the Joy is now being replicated onto the screen. Having the Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse attached means that we can go ahead and actually control the Joy from here. So if I wanted to pull up and go into my search settings, if I wanted to launch into my photos, my cameras, any of my programs here, I can literally do it all with the keyboard and mouse. Um, and that's actually very cool, but that is using the Surface Duo and the Android operating system. What we want though, is actually using Windows 365 today. So you can see here we have our remote desktop client um, installed. We're just gonna open this up. It's gonna launch into all the remote desktops that we have. This is one we built previously on Windows 365. I'm just gonna lift it up, and because it is the Duo and you have the two screens here, Using my mouse, I'm just gonna stretch it over so it goes full screen, let go, and now it's taking up the majority of the screen. Just gonna double click, and like that, we are connected and we are launched into our Windows 365 desktop. Super, super quick, really easy. You can see here that down the bottom, we've got our start bar back. Um, you know, it's a full Windows 365 desktop. If I right click and I go into our task manager, you'll see that we are running that Xeon processor from the Microsoft servers. Um, so to launch from the Surface Duo into the Windows 365 desktop, one cable, one click, a couple of seconds, and we're actually in. Really quite amazing. One thing that I have noticed is that the quality or the, the definition on the screen is a little bit reduced, and that's because it is running through the, 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 the remote desktop client or the app, so it doesn't give you the full fidelity. But if I needed to use this as a regular thing just to type away, be more than fine, it's not an issue. It's just not as crisp and as clear as if it was connected straight to a full PC. Totally fine with that. One thing you will notice is that at the top here you have these three controls because it is of course running the desktop app on the Duo, so running it through the remote desktop client. And this would give you things like if you're using it on the Duo here, you know, you could zoom in, make it easier. You could swap out between different apps you could go from a mouse pointer over to using a touch pointer. And this keyboard and mouse doesn't really make a difference, but if you're using it just on Joy, definitely makes a big difference here. We're gonna go back to mouse. And then of course, you've got a quick way of pulling up your keyboard, um, which looks a little bit funny down the bottom here, but it's kind of cool that it gives you some quick keys, uh, but not really, it's pretty pointless because we have a full keyboard over here. Cool. So one issue I have found with using the Joy as the connection to the remote desktop is that it is only running through an app. So if I'm gonna use any hotkeys or quick keys on my keyboard, like simply pressing the Windows key, you'll see that it actually launches the Google Assistant and not the desktop or the start menu. If I press things like Alt-Tab, it's going to toggle through the apps that I have open on the Duo, but not the apps and programs I have open on the remote desktop client. Um, so you can see I let go of that and now it's launched us and sort of thrown, um, you know, the Windows 365 desktop on one side and then it's given us back to our Surface Joy on the other. This is kind of cool though because you can see that on the right hand side I've got my Windows 365 desktop and on the left hand side I could do something like go into my text messages. 
Of course, this duo hasn't been fully set up yet, so there's no messages here, but it is cool that I can run my messages on the left-hand side and then my remote desktop on the right-hand side. And if I want to go back straight into my remote desktop, just lift it up, pull it across the center of the screen, release, and now we go back into full desktop mode. Really cool, right? One thing I do notice with Windows 365 is that all the icons for the apps don't actually load. So you can see here that if we go sticky notes, it doesn't actually give you the app icon. If we were gonna go to, ah, uh, press the start button again. Um, if we were gonna go to say a different program like Office, doesn't actually pop up. Windows 365 doesn't have all of the icons there, which doesn't make a big difference. The, the, the launcher still works, but it doesn't look as nice, right? Um, so got it, cool. And as you can see, this is when I was testing out Windows 365 before and we're just gonna type away again. So hotkeys like Control A, um, they still work. This is using Windows 365 with the Surface Duo. I think it's pretty cool. One thing I did notice that isn't specific to the Joy, but it's more Windows 365 in general, is that because it's locked around 30 frames a second, there is that little bit of lag and in input between when you're typing away and when it appears up on the screen here. Um, it's not the worst, but it is something I have noticed, especially if you type fast, can be a little bit annoying. Um, one thing I do wanna point out though, is that we're still of course from running the screen here on the Surface Duo and just seeing the Windows desktop on a device this small is actually pretty freaking cool. Um, but what I wanted to show you was that it is super easy and super simple to use Windows 365 on the Duo, especially with a keyboard and mouse. Now let's do something a little bit different and actually use it without the screen and see what that experience is like. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't see anybody actually using the Duo like this. Um, but let's give it a go. So we're gonna launch back into our remote desktop client. Of course, you can see we are still in that OneNote page because the Windows 365 desktop is or can be always on. I'm just gonna swipe up and we're gonna move this from single screen over to dual screen. And you can see here we have a full Windows 10 Pro desktop running on our Surface Duo um, in all its glory. So what I have found is that because the screen is so small, and of course we're using our big fingers to use this small screen, it is really hard to actually press things. So I can do things like, I can press the start menu, not a problem. I can scroll through and I can select on say, I want to launch the new video editor. Thing gets tricky when you want to start typing in. So you can see that I just pressed on the little search icon and our keyboard popped up. And I'm not sure if you can see the, uh, the challenge here, but that doesn't look like a QWERTY keyboard that many fingers are gonna be very used to using. If I wanted to type in something like hello or even just move this around, it's really challenging. Um, and as you can see right down the bottom here, just above my finger and next to my finger, that is where the traditional keys would be um, if you wanted to resize your keyboard. So using the keyboard on this is a challenge to say the least. Um, of course, we can actually, instead of using the Windows 10 keyboard, we can actually press on the keyboard option up here. And this will bring us up the remote desktop keyboard, um, but it just has the board down the bottom. And if we press on any of these buttons here, it's gonna take us over to our keyboards. The other thing that I've noticed is that because it's spread over two screens, um, you know, we should have three options over here, but there is actually, because of the, the division in the bar, um, we're actually missing some icons down the bottom and of course we're missing our remote desktop controller. But if I just quickly fold it up, it's going to, well, Windows is on an even smaller screen now, but as you can see here, we've got our three options at the top. We've got our magnify, if I can press on that. Um, it's got this little, it's hard to see, but above my finger here, if you press on that little control wheel that lets you move it around the screen, and then of course we can actually press on our keyboard, but we're still stuck with this same funny looking keyboard down the bottom. Um, so that's not, not the best. We're just gonna unzoom out of that for a second. Um, so that doesn't really kind of work, but I think just running Windows 365, or, uh, Windows 10 desktop on the Joe, um, it's actually quite a novelty. We're just gonna swap screens, launch it again. Really easy, super smooth. Um, open it up from one to two screens and throw it across. And that's kind of cool. 
All right, so now you can see we've got the mouse as it's moving around, the mouse is connected. We've got the keyboard hooked up, hello. So we are typing away, control A, delete all that text, and we're actually running Windows 10 on the Surface Duo with keyboard and mouse. Question here though is, you know, maybe I need a prop to help stand it up for me. So this is probably one of the smallest functional Windows computers that I've actually seen. Um, but let's go over to say YouTube for a second. Um, or maybe we want to go to the start menu. Maybe I actually want to work and be productive here. Um, maybe we want to run some speed tests on this um, on this virtual machine. You know, maybe I want to go over to that OneNote page we had open earlier. So here I am using the keyboard, using the mouse, and of course using Windows 10 on the Surface Duo. And it's a pretty flawless, pretty seamless experience. Um, if I didn't have something to prop up the Surface Duo, of course we can get rid of that. And then we can do things like turn it into tent mode. So it's a very, very small screen here. A bit hard for you guys to read. Actually, very hard for me to read as well. But two finger zoom and we can zoom into whatever we're looking at. A little bit of a delay because of that poor frame rate. Let's zoom back out. Or of course, we can just use plus and minus on the keys. Okay, so that was using the Surface Duo as a Windows 365 device. As you guys saw, connecting this up to a monitor with a keyboard and a mouse, really easy, really simple, really quick, and actually a really cool solution. Um, would I use it in place of a regular laptop? Maybe not right now because, well, I have laptops and this is more of a portable device. But what I love about this is the thought and I guess the the possibilities of what you can do with a device like the Duo and technology like Windows 365. So it's really functional right now, but I'm actually really excited to see how this technology grows and changes in the next couple of years. Then we also used it as a standalone Windows 365 device, albeit with a keyboard and mouse attached with no external monitor. And that was just for a little bit of fun to see what it was like using Windows 365 on the Jewel or even on the single screen. Definitely nowhere near as functional as using it with a big monitor, just because of the fact that Windows isn't designed for such small screens, and that's where you have mobile operating systems. But again, it was actually really, really easy to set up, and it was kind of functional if you had great eyesight. Uh, but of course, it wasn't an optimal experience. A lot of fun to do though. Um, so this was just a quick introduction to using Windows 365 on mobile devices like Surface Duo. If you guys want to see something a bit more specific or detailed, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you're going to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.